Well, good morning, everyone. This is Sunday, June the 25th, and it is the fourth Sunday after Pentecost. Of course, uh, I'll begin my holidays after this uh, Wednesday, so the last time for communion will be Wednesday. During the month of July, we'll have five services of morning prayer, led by Randy O'Brien, Jim Spencer, uh, Tessa Denali, uh, Doreen Thompson, and of course, uh, Trish Glover. So I hope that you give them all your support on those particular Sundays in July, and I will see you once again in August, fully rested, refreshed, and enjoying the summer, just like I know you all will enjoy the summer too. We begin with the grace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hidden. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. The colic for the fourth Sunday after Pentecost. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. O God, our defender, storms rage about us and cause us to be afraid. Rescue your people from despair. Deliver your sons and daughters from fear and preserve us all from unbelief. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And I'll invite you to think of your own personal brokenness, and the fallenness, the times when, you know, there's enmity between you and your brother or sister. The invitation to the confession. Dear friends in Christ, God is steadfast in love, infinite in mercy. He welcomes sinners and invites us to his table. Let us confess our sins confident in God's forgiveness. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed. By what we have done and by what we have left undone, we have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways. To the glory of your name, amen. Almighty God, have mercy upon you, pardon you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness and keep you in eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord, amen. And now let's say that wonderful prayer which gives us so much hope and promise even in the times of our difficulties. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. And now may the peace of God which passes all understanding Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you today and always. Amen.